In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3.2 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2023. I'll be doing all this on the board. Hopefully, it'll be a lot like you're used to your teacher doing in a classroom. If you want other questions from this paper, you should be able to find it in a playlist in the description below. And if you find any of my videos uh, useful, I'd greatly appreciate liking, subscribing, or even sharing it to a friend sitting the exams this year or next. In question five, it's split into two parts. Part B is a little tricky, but part A, it's, it's quite simple, but just really long and quite messy. They, they tell us that a is equal to 2 plus yi. Now they don't write it quite like that, so I apologize if your English isn't perfect and you didn't get that, but that's, that's the start of what you need. You need a is equal to um, 2 plus yi. Then they tell us y is less than 0. That'll come important later, I think in part b. And they tell us that there's a function. They tell us it is given that f of a is equal to a cubed minus a squared minus 2a. And they'd like to write this again, but with none of the a's here. They'd like just y. So we know what a is equal to. So all we have to do is fill a into all of these. And that's where the mess begins. Uh, let me write it out um, first. Yeah, let me uh, write what I would do sort of first. So instead of a cubed, I would put in 2 plus y i cubed minus 2 plus yi squared, sorry, yi squared minus 2 times 2 plus yi. Now, the only really tricky thing here is you need to remember that i squared is equal to minus 1. Other than that, I would expect uh, students a couple of years below your level to be able to do this. Now, I would expect most of them to make mistakes. At your level, I expect a good few of you, 10, 20% to make mistakes. When I first did this, um, well actually it was in part B, I made a silly mistake. Um, but this is long and messy, it's gonna take up half my board here. Um, so don't feel too hard about making a mistake on it. Unfortunately though, you need to practice to get those mistakes as low as you can because you have an exam coming up. I, I thankfully don't have to do the exam ever again. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to multiply all of these out slowly and carefully. In fact, um, I won't do it all over there. Let's do it slowly over here. A is equal to 2 plus yi. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to multi get a squared. And then we'll get a cubed. And then we'll fill it in over there. Now, if you want to watch the rest of this video, at least till part B, at two times speed, I highly recommend it. Because I'm not going to do anything too special here. Uh, but I'll still talk through what I'm doing. Okay, a squared is just this guy squared. So it's two times two is four. It's two times yi plus uh, yi times two, which is four yi's. And then it's uh, yi squared. You get y squared and you get i squared. i squared gets a minus one, so we get a minus there. So that's that. And a cubed then is a bit harder. It's a squared times a. So let's just go through all of these. Uh, two times four is eight. Two times uh, four y is eight y i. Two times minus y squared is two y squared. Then onto the y i. Um, so y i times four is four y i. Um, y i times four y i is four y squared i squared. The i squared gets a minus in there. And then finally, y times y squared is y cubed, minus times a plus is a minus, and then, um, oh sorry, there is one i in that. Okay, that's the cubed, but we need to clean this up a bit. Get all the like terms, there's only the eight there. Uh, what else is a like? The y squares are like each other, that's minus six y squares. Uh, the y i's are like each other. Let's see, there's 12 of them, 12yi, and then the y cubed here, y cubed i, y cubed i. Okay, that's as clean as I can get it. You Sometimes I like to take the i out of these two guys, 
um, just so I have the, the imaginary part on its own. I'll do that at the very end, I won't do it now. And then the real part on its own here. And um, right, let's try and fill all of this in. Uh, the white cubed is this. I'll just jot all of this down basically. Eight minus six y squared plus 12 yi minus y cubed i. And minus a squared, I just have to change all the signs. Minus four, minus four yi plus y squared. Um, let me just double check that was a minus, yeah, okay. And then minus two times this, we can do this one right here. Minus four, minus two yi. Again, let's get all the like terms. Uh, there's numbers here. Actually, all of them cancel. Eight minus four minus another four, it's gone. And get, uh, let's see, all the y squares together. Minus six of them plus one of them. So that's minus five y squared. Um, let's see, what's next? What about the yi's? Uh, we have 12 minus four of them. So that's a uh, plus eight of them. Yi. Then uh, we have, oh, I've missed the y squared. I don't know, that y squared was, was already done, wasn't it? Yes. Um, let's see, we have, we're left with just, uh, oh, here we go, uh, minus uh, y cubed i, minus y cubed i. Let me just check my notes that that's correct. It is not, we should have got a six here. So let's see, what am I missing? Um, ah, here we go, there's two y i here. My apologies. 12yi minus 4yi minus another 2yi is 6yi. That's why I like to do a little dot dash and loads of dashes underneath them just so I can easily see one I've missed, um, which sort of helped there. Okay, so that is part A, simplified down. Um, I Sometimes I do, I do re like to do this at the very end, uh, y squared plus six y minus y cubed in a bracket with the i outside. I, I like to just leave, if I can take y, uh, i out of two of them, I like to do it, because it's just, it's a lot easier um, to, it's a lot easier to deal with the imaginary part and the real part, because they come up a lot, as we're gonna see in part B. Okay, part B, I think I can probably squeeze it in um, underneath all of this. In part B, they tell us, they write this, hey, let me write it first, so, F-A. So how we read this, this is the real part of F-A. And here's F-A here, sorry, I never wrote that in at the end. F-A is equal to this. The real part of this, they tell us it's equal to minus 20, but we also know it's equal to minus five y squared. That's the real part, that's the imaginary part, that's the real part. So it's just a matter of solving this. They don't ask us to do that, but if they tell us this is equal to minus 20, let's use that. Um, let's use that and find out what y is, because it's a very simple equation now. Divide both sides by minus five, we get four is equal y squared, and we get y is equal to plus or minus two. You will lose a mark for this. They told us y is less than zero. So we need to put in y is equal to minus two. The plus, um, you, you don't have to tell them why there, you can just write, they, they, they'll take the leap with you. Um, yeah, because y is less than a zero, so it has to be only that. Um, but they tell us, they ask us to find the argument of a. I said I made a mistake when doing this. So this is actually where I made a mistake. I spent ages trying to find the argument of this. Well, I didn't spend that long finding it, I just, it didn't match the answer in the book. Um, so I hope nobody else made the same mistake. Uh, they didn't ask you to find the argument of this, they asked you to find the argument of A. Just this guy up here. So the argument of two, but remember we know what Y is. It's minus two. So they just want to find the argument of this. And remember what the argument is. Uh, the argument, when we have a complex number, I'll use this one here, two minus two i, we can draw that. Here's two, here's minus two i. Draw that down here. That's that complex number. The modulus is the length to the middle, to the origin. And the argument is the angle uh, to the x-axis. So you can either give them this answer, 
this long one across, but it's much more common to give them this answer in here. And as a form of that, the argument is just equal to the inverse tangent of the imaginary part. So we could write the imaginary part of this, it's just minus two, divided by the real part of this, which is just two. That's uh, the inverse tangent of minus one, and that's just equal to 45 degrees. Or if your calculator is in radians, sorry, minus 45, or if your calculator is in radians, that would be um, uh, pi over four, minus pi over four, or whatever number that comes out as. But as well, like I said, so that's 45. And we should be able to see that because it's two, two minus two, it's two, two. So this is 45 degree angle. And um, also, you could also give the answer as uh, 300 and 315. 315 plus 315 is the same as minus 45 in angles and uh, whatever this works out as uh, let's think a 7 over 8 pi and um, yeah they never asked for radians or not so any of those answers are fine in fact uh, yeah I guess you could give any answer even 2 pi bigger than this add 2 pi to either of these that's also correct add 360 or 720 and so on, all of them are correct because they never told us any, any range. Right, I hope that answered that question. Uh, if you have any follow-ups about any part of that, please put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.